Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. This is Thrifty Thursday. Um, I believe Sherry Brown thought of this and started this as open collaboration now. Maria's Miscellany does this. I do it when I have a chance. So, um, I have some wonderfulness to show you today. You recall possibly a few weeks back when I went to the estate sale and obtained all of those cabinet cards. Well, in addition to the cabinet cards, which I've not even begun to touch the tip of the iceberg, I also got a lot of metal photographs. These are amazing, so I want to share those with you. And the prices on them are what they were asking for them at the estate sale. Now, I didn't pay quite this much for them, but, um, and I'll be selling some in my Etsy store, and I'm going to try to scan some, but I don't know if they'll scan. This is Albert Bliss. Look at that. You see his face? Isn't he cool? He's got a little pink tint to his cheeks. Then on the back is him when he was a little older. Isn't that cool? see if my lamp moved over. Y'all know I always have issues. So that's one, and these are metal. Here's one in a frame. It's a little boy. And you can see my camera shadow there. And this is velvet. And these are all from the 1890s. The majority and there's some that are older but um, they're just awesome here's one of a little boy I'm still in the plastic bag it's got a little wear on it and then they had bags of them like this one was marked twenty dollars these are just amazing to me I don't know about I know some of you love this kind of stuff too uh, especially those of us in the junk journal world, but these metal ones are so interesting and so cool. And I think they'd be cool on the covers of journals as an extra to put in a journal or just to collect and keep. This one you can not really see. It's faded pretty bad. It looks like it was a little girl. As is, this is just... <laughs> Oh, backing. So they had, here's one of a couple. It's fairly scratched up and old. This one I love because it looks like um, an old slide, but it's not. It's a silhouette vignette sort of of this woman. Look at her hat. Isn't that awesome? This is another young man Marshall Belden or Belder from Kansas you can barely see him anymore he faded and he's wrinkled up this one isn't metal I don't think some of them it's really hard to tell this one wasn't metal it's all bubbled up and I'm not sure what caused it but I love the frame on the outside these are all pretty I haven't really looked at them all. I love the frame, but the picture's pretty much gone. So another messed up one, but the frame is pretty. So I've got these paper. The frames are paper. Now this one's not. Now this was not metal. I said I was showing you metal ones, didn't I? Well, he's not metal. My camera. Isn't he handsome? It's a nice frame, too, with the embossing. Um... I don't know why it's, um, this is a little tiny one, and you can't even see it without my light, and then the light shows the camera. There it is. See the embossed around the little frame, that cute? So all of these have a pretty frame. And they're little tiny, you can see they're taped on to the back of the little frames. I 
those are in really good shape. Here's a maybe a teenager or a young woman. The curls in her hair. Little girl. An older girl. These are all metal. Come on. Yeah, she ain't real happy. <laughs> Some of these people look like... Apparently, I've got two of her. This is four little boys. My camera wants to shine in the... Um, the, the frame on this is really pretty. It's leaves. You can see that. My camera will shout. It wants to show. I've never had that happen before. This is not metal, but it's kind of looks like marcaside or some type of film over top of it. Older grandma and grandpa couple. This one can barely see. The frame's pretty. It's got a scroll. Can't tell who the picture is. So I'll why is my camera doing that? It's like a foreign object. So that's two women. Love the, the little etching on the frame. Or whatever you call that, embossing. This looks like some men folk. The frame's pretty. So that was it all that was in that first bag not many were in really good shape and they were asking twenty dollars for it and of course like i said i didn't i didn't pay that i'm not gonna worry about that so let's see if i get us bright enough if the camera light won't the camera won't show i don't want this to last forever for you guys because again i know your attention span what I tell you? A gnat. This is interesting. It's got um, black fabric and this is on glass. So I've got some of these. If you were to take away the black fabric, you would not see the image. See, it's like a ghost. You see my hand in there? Isn't that awesome? So I've got several like that, and I'm infatuated with these. Here's another. It's on glass. And this... Grandma's got something right on her nose. So those were cool. That was in this bag. They had $14 for these three. Apparently, uh, they had done some research on how much they were worth, um, but I didn't pay that. Here more of the metals without frame. Now, this lady, to me, looks like she would be on the post office most wanted. You know, at the post office, they put the most wanted folks. That's, to me, what she looks like she would be at the post office on the bulletin board. She looks mad, but it's, it's metal. This is a good picture and she's not happy either. These people in these pictures that I have are so pitiful. Like they, I guess back then either they weren't supposed to smile or they told them to look as sad as possible. Isn't he cute? Or they were sad. I'm not. I'm not sure which it was. And he handsome. If I get it up too close, you can't see. This one's cute. I love that little boy. Let's see if I do this. Yeah, that's a little better. Let's 
try that. It's this lady. This is much better. Look at this one. This one's really interesting. It's um, more gray tones, I guess, but it's still metal. But I love that picture. It's really different. And in person, you can see their features a little better than you can in the camera. There you go. Now that one looks like she's got a black eye. Come on. See that? This is a little fella. So he was in his own bag. I love Grandpa here. Look at this beard. Isn't he awesome? Pretty picture. Little fella. It's cute. I like this one. I like the little frame. Oh boy. And this one is kind of beat up, but I think he's adorable. Look at that. I love the real old looking one. So these again, all metal. Isn't that adorable? I don't know how well they'll scan, but I will be selling these are my Etsy shop I don't know I'll probably sell them in batches because that will be less expensive for me as far as fees but if any of you are interested in any of these let me know maybe I can do it outside of Etsy I don't um we'll, we'll figure out something so if you can count I guess you could count right the first set was really bad. This was set number two. This was set number three as far as the whole set. I don't know that I'll sell them like a whole set, so I don't know. You know, I'm just like not sure what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. I just know I got a bunch of stuff that I need to sell some. And I thought you guys might like some. Let's see what's in here. It's a handsome fella. Two ladies. Isn't that cool? That one's kind of messed up. And that. So that was all that was in this little bag. looks like he's looking at metals like war metals or something but I'm not sure love the frame there's a man and a woman and this one's cracking looks like they have somehow overlaid the photo on metal because this like when they start bubbling or cracking I'm not sure how they do these look like three siblings pretty frame What's in there? Look at dude here. Look at that beard. Why does it there? This is one on glass. See? Okay, these are all on glass. I love this one. He looks like he was part of the wild, wild west. Mm. This one's thick. It almost looks like there's two, but I think that's pressed together so it the backing black on there. And 
And this is another one. See, without the backing, like she's a ghost, a hologram. Then you put the backing, and she shows up really good. She has really rosy cheeks. Super interesting to me. Hope you guys like seeing these. And I'll show more cabinet cards later. I've sold some. There are still some available in my Etsy shop. For sale. And I'll be adding more. I just haven't had time. My husband right now has the flu. And um, hoping, praying that I don't get the flu. Here's some more metals, I think. No, nope, these are a mixture of metal and glass. This is glass. This is a metal. I like that. And this one. He got broken. But isn't that cool how it's still... Sh I don't know how they did that back then, but that's really cool. Another glass one. This one's glass. Glass. He's got an interesting beard. He almost looks like he's barely got any face. He's all here. And she's cracked all to pieces. You cracked me up. <laughs> Sorry, that's probably not as funny to you guys. <laughs> I just think of crazy things sometimes. And we have this. It's starting to crackle. I think the crackle is so cool. Look at the way that's... That is, and this is like a cabinet card, but it's not. Why they stick these, stuck these stickers right on the paper, I don't know. Well, that one's coming off pretty good. Yeah. The same as page up. They wrote on it. Here's the back. Same man years later. Isn't that cool? That I, I didn't even realize I had some like this. These are cabinet cards, so that's... I think that's a metal. That's him when he was younger. And this is him when he was older. Still handsome. That's really cool. How they stuff some of these in here. I don't know. Okay. This is um, cut two couples, older couples, and I love the little frame. It says, hello from, I guess you're supposed to put where you're from, where you were. You can see it's real dark, but you can see it better in person. And here's another one that's metal. In there, a pretty frame, but it's it's like a family probably. Start. This looks like three ladies. I don't know if they're friends or siblings. Pretty frame. It's a little baby. He's a sweetie. Pretty frame flowers. And these are some folks at the beach. Women with dresses on and the men with t-shirts. And that's a metal picture. And here are some more metals. That one doesn't show up very well. Little girl. Can't see this one really at all, but I like the frame. This looks like a siblings. She can't really see it. 
This is one that's cracking up. And here's a lady with a hat on the frame. So there's that. So a young girl or uh, older girl is still a child. Now it's just a piece of metal. This is a man. It's another metal. Now that one's really beat up. Oh boy. This one's on glass. A dad and his two children, it looks like. So that's those. And let's see what these are. Two women with this, like, sailor dresses. See the crackling a little bit? You turn it a certain way. A lady beside a big picket fence. Metals. I like this um, frame. Man and his dog. A little girl or a little boy. It's a little child. Can't really tell. an older fella. This is says uh, September 4th, 1912. She's on her front porch. It's staged on the back. Oh, upside down. This looks like two brothers or two buddies. Little boy and girl, probably brother and sister. It's a mama and a little girl, baby. Two women. Daddy and the baby. Even if I don't use the pictures, which I still love. He looks like a butcher with his apron on and two children. That's cool. Um, I love these etched frames. And he's all dapper. So that. Those. Let's speed up a bit for you guys. I don't know how, to, how long I've been going. pretty like a family photo these are all crackled but they're still pretty cool souvenir from This is a little kid and two ladies. And that one's gotten crooked. It's a man. And a little two children, it looks like. So that's those. These, I just think of the stories that are told with the faces and the photographs of these folks and wonder. Like, what were their families like, and what... You can't tell by their faces, you'd think they're all miserable. Now, this woman's actually smiling. You don't see that very often. See her smiley face? That's cool. Here's another. This isn't metal. This one's metal like two couples and this is a farmer looking guy to me she cute
This one to me is a little beauty picture. Me and this autofocus do not get along. There she is. This is looks like a mama and some children. This one's really dark and this one's really dark. Lovingly yours. Little guy sent his picture to somebody. And there's an older gentleman. That's those. Isn't that cool? Uh, I think these are metals. Yep, they are. Oops, he's falling out. Look at Granny. <laughs> Look at her little hat. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just makes me laugh. That's funny. There's somebody falling out of their frame now that's a mama and a baby it's another grandma that's shriveled up that's just a photo so that's all of those. Super cool, super cool. These are sweet. Little boy. The woman. It's a bust. The back side of the child. It's cute. A little baby. And a little boy. Those are sweet. I like all these. Well, you're not going to be able to tell me what number. <laughs> because I've got them all mixed up. Here's one. This has got bows and flowers and leaves. This is Young man, it looks like. Here's a couple. And that's just a guy standing there with his hands in his pockets. And let's see what this will bring. Love these. Greetings from when they went on vacation or something I guess but they neglected to put where they went lovingly yours from and this has something written let me see if I can see it it's written in pencil so I can't, I can't make it out souvenir from and there's a sticker it's a flag sticker that they put on there it's two ladies Tin. That's what they are. They're not metal. They're tins. This is three siblings, it looks like, in front of the house. Three ladies. So that's all of those. So that's all uh, that I'm showing in this video of the small ones. Then I want to show you these large ones. They look really good. Now they're in plastic. I don't want to pull them out. The baby must have moved his head because, you know, they didn't have the stuff that fixes that like they did back, like they do now. Here's another family portrait. I just love these. These are, this has been touched up, isn't she? I just think this is beautiful. You've got the green and her rosy cheeks and little on her lips. Here's a lady and a child. And these, again, are in the plastic, and I don't really want to take them out. Two gentlemen. He's got a mustache now, and they've even got them with rosy cheeks. A 
He's got a he's got a comb over. They even did that back then. Huh. He looks like he'd be one of the wild wild west dudes. It's a family. Isn't she cute, this little girl? Young fella. Probably about 12 to 14-ish, maybe. He looks like he was out in the West. A little frazzled. Here's a handsome gentleman with that fringy chair. I see in a lot of the cabinet cards, too, that same chair. <laughs> Must be from the same photographer. He's a handsome fella. And they were selling these for $16 each because they're in such good shape, these large ones. Um, so I'll have to research. I'm not going to sell them for that much, obviously. I'll sell them for a lot less than that. they cool. They're just so neat. Get her. Interesting characters, I think. I think these would be cool on the covers of journals. This one has paper in it. John Emmett something other. Second son of, of Thomas and Bridget Francis McMahon. He was born in Carrollton Groon something. October 15th, 1861. Was married July 19th, 1916 in Kansas City, Missouri to Sue Duran. Born March 18th, 1891 at Lexington, Missouri. So this, he looks kind of younger there. So it was gives you an idea of how old the picture is. Anyway, I'm not going. I'm not good at math. Look here. <laughs> he looks like he's full of mischief, right? He's the handsome guy. Obviously, we have lots of men that got their pictures made, more than women, which nowadays it's kind of the opposite. I like this because that's a church it looks like in the background. I think that one's really cool. This is James Raymond. Same family it looks like. He was born Carrollton, Illinois, 1863. Married in 1888. Died in 1919. So he did not live to be very old. 1919 he passed away. Here's another fellow. Had some handsome young men. Light colored eyes. You can tell by the picture. And some of them. This one's cool. This one almost looks like um hologram sort of thing or it's been painted touched up a lot isn't that cool I think these must have been twins there's a fella there another gentleman look at grandpa now this one's got it's a you can hear that it's like a frosty something on it oh his hair so that one's really unusual. First one I've seen like that. This one's pretty old. Or it wasn't taken very good care of. It's hard to know. Handsome little boy with that French chair again. This one has some green with the fringe in the background. She's kind of torn up. <laughs> She's pretty. Look at that. Look at her dress. So 
so fancy. She got some long dangle earrings on. Oh my, this poor little child looks like he's been sick. Bless his heart. Look at his eyes. Pitiful. This is cute. Two look like a brother and a sister. All dressed up. And he doesn't hardly have any shoulders. Look at how his shoulders are. Going straight down. Either that or he's got his daddy's coat on. I'm not sure which it was. Uh, oh, this one's really old. Or, again, not taking care of it. Looks like three women and three men. This one's on glass. Isn't that awesome? Here's a little child that was stuck in the middle of these big ones. Now this looks like it's painted. Maybe they took the picture and then painted over it. The necklace is definitely painted on or on top of. So I think, yeah, they just painted on top of some stuff. This is a sweet family photo. A bunch of fellas. And he's got a walking stick, I think, is what that is. Isn't she interesting? She's got a crown on her head. At first I thought it was a nursing nurse's hat, but it's um it's like a crown of some kind. She's interesting. Here's some children. Great picture. There's a man with a nice mat. Little boy. Isn't he cute? He's got a stick of some sort and a straw hat. Two boys. Or not boys. A man and a boy, maybe. These awesome. I wonder what that was. That one piece of hair going up there. It looks like a wave. <laughs> Look at her. Trying to decide if that's a hat or her hair. I'm looking at it and I can't tell. Maybe it's a hat. <coughs> Excuse me. Four fellas. Maybe it's dad, granddaddy, and sons. Here's grandma again. I think we had a picture of her earlier, a smaller one. Ow. Poked myself. Now, he's interesting. He, he kind of looks like he could have been related to Kramer on Seinfeld. Doesn't he lose his eyes? <laughs> About to eat those sideburns. Here's a cool family photo on sand so that's kind of at the beach what do they used to call them pork chops yeah that's just gross that's a pretty girl on a pedestal like scene some of it's chipped off a little boy on the same scene same pedestal We had a picture of her earlier, too. Different size. So, this is a bunch of kids, siblings. So, that's all I've got to show you today. I'll show you more another day. I want to um, thank you guys for tuning in. And know that you are loved. That I love you all. And thank you for hanging in there with me as I try to get back in the swing of things and it's still hard like i said my husband now has the flu it's like we've had one thing after another but th this too shall pass so um, i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye bye